Okay guys, I'm here today with Todd Williams. Todd has just opened one school here in Morrow, Michigan, and I'm gonna make a seminar here tomorrow. And this school is awesome, I love it. And he uh, used to live in Florida, he just moved here. Todd is a black belt from Luis, right? Yeah, Luis Pajaros. Luis Pajaros. And he also yeah, he's a two times Olympian in track and field. So before Jiu Jitsu, he was a runner. And it's very cool because nowadays he has a program that's like runner safe. So he, he travels all over the US teaching seminars for runners, especially like girls who were worried about self defense when they are running. And he's an awesome teacher, a great coach. And today he's gonna show us one of his favorite attacks. That's like a choke from Hefner that he traps the guy. He controls both lapels and then you don't know what's going on from there and then he can attack a choke from both lapels, from both angles. I wrote with him, he was trying that on me and it was very cool. So today he's gonna show us how he does it. Os. All right, so in the half guard, I like to play with my shield. So I've got my knee shield and I have my half guard. So once I get this space, I open up my gi. Okay, so I control the bicep. I open up the gi, okay? From there, I feed. So as soon as I feed, Bernardo's gonna think, okay, I'm gonna pass now. So I bring my knee out. So when he starts to pressure pass, I slide this up and grip and drop my elbow. So the choke starts there. As you can see, Bernardo's grimacing a little bit. Yeah. So I drop my elbow. Now, I bump just enough with my shoulder so I can take my bottom hand and come up underneath and grab my forearm. Now I squeeze. Tap. If he defends and he brings that hand up, I'll shift my hips underneath and pull me on belly and get the choke. Yeah, <laughs> Again, one more time. One more time. So, start with half guard knee shield. Control the bicep. Grab the top gi with the top hand. Okay. Grab the lapel. Feed. Slide the knee out. Your opponent starts to come forward. Punch it to the ceiling, go under the chin. Top hand grabs as deep as possible on the lapel. Drop the elbow. This time I'm gonna be nice. Okay. <laughs> now, bump the shoulder to get enough space to reach your bottom hand up and through and grab your forearm. Squeeze and you get the tap. If he continues to fight, then I'm gonna slide my hips underneath, get the inside outside hook. This can come me on belly, and you finish the choke. And, uh, so guys, and uh, Todd, when we were rolling, just wait again, you were doing something also that you were controlling both parts of your lapel, oh, yeah. right? So that yeah. was a trap? Or yeah, so I mean, when I, when I get both out, which I call this kind of like a double attack from here, I can still use this to wrap the head, okay? So if I come here, I can use the bottle, tight, and again, Back to the form. Oh, so you can do it for both lapels. Oh, I got it. Yeah. yeah so that, that's what I realized. If you were rolling, yeah, so you have both lapels. Yeah, so if I get a good And I was like, man, there's something, some trap coming here. But the key to this technique is your opponent's coming forward with a lot of pressure. If he disengages, I got not going to work. So, and another way to get him to come in is I slide my knee, boom, and then he falls into the trap. I okay. Got it. Then I have to bump to get space to come up underneath and then drop the elbow. I got it. Man, awesome. I love it. Thanks so much, Todd. Uh, Oops. Thank you.